having two jobs and small humans running around at home is pretty tiring and can be fairly stressful. Massages are really helpful for that kind of thing, but unfortunately they're expensive and you have to drive to them and a lot of things aren't even open anymore. If only at home I had some sort of piece of equipment that was accurate and consistent in putting a known force on something. So, I'm Dave, welcome back to the Armory, and today, Herman's gonna give me a massage. I'm setting this up in the spare bedroom. It means that I have to put a whole bunch of holes in the wall. I don't think my wife's gonna be too mad about this, but pretty sure Herman can help her relax if she's really worked up about it. I'm testing the force feedback. Herman is pushing down and trying to maintain a constant force on the end of the nubbin. With me blocking it with my hand, if I push up with more force than that, the arm will actually retract up to try to reduce the force on the end and keep it at the value that I have set. In the actual program, Herman will apply a force down until it hits some kind of an object, which is hopefully your back. And once it's done that, then it will actually add an additional rotational force to get a bit, bit of a twist or a roll on the nubbin, which actually feels surprisingly good. So I 3D printed this nubbin to put on the end of Herman. Two main reasons for that. One is to make it a little bit softer, so it just feels nicer, but also to spread out the load. Uh, the safety limits that I have on Herman are around 150 newtons, which should be well below whatever your spine or your back can handle. So worst case, it shouldn't be a problem, but also spreading out the force reduces the chance that if anything goes horribly, terribly wrong, there's really should be no risk to whoever's getting a massage. Now, the, my first attempt at this was covering it with cork. I had these coasters from Ikea that I tried to cut and glue on and that worked okay, but not really awesomely. Uh, I also tried to cover it with some rubber that I found, which actually worked even worse somehow. This is what I ended up doing. Uh, I got a tube of silicone caulking and caulked the outside of this. It took about a day to dry uh, and ended up a little bit kind of lumpy bumpy, but once I covered it with material, this actually worked really solidly. Uh, it didn't come off, it didn't move, it was pretty easy to put on, nice and easy to cut holes in for the, uh, uh, for the bolts to be able to hold it on. Also, I used a hole saw to cut out this little block with four holes, uh, four bolt holes to go through it to space the nubbin out from the end of the arm. Because Herman has an offset wrist, depending how it positions the end of the arm, the wrist can actually be lower than joint six, which doesn't happen with most inline six arms, uh, but it does with URs. So I had to make this to put this further out so that you wouldn't actually get hit by the arm at all while it's running. There's the latissimus, I'm going to say all of these wrong. There are three major muscle groups in the back. There's the trapezius, the latissimus, and the erector muscles. That's top, middle, and back. Depending on what kind of massage you want, I have the option to target a specific muscle group. Now, this doesn't have the level of feedback that you get from a massage therapist to target specific areas that you might want to do, but is good enough for the average home massage. There are two major parts to all of this. The first one is just a basic web interface. All it is, it has a couple little drop downs and buttons, so you can choose which areas of your back you wanna do, how fast or how hard you wanna press, uh, and to stop and start as well. Everyone has a phone, you can just connect to that, and there's no real extra hardware that really needs to go into this. The second part to this is just a simple Python script that connects to the UR through the RTDE interface and streams different positions that it wants the arm to go to, and enables and disables force feedback at different times. All the code for running this is all written in Python. I'll put that all on GitHub if you want to go look at it.
don't think I'm going to stop going to my massage therapist anytime soon. But you can't beat the convenience of having Herman at home. If you like this video, make sure to like and then hit subscribe and the little bell so you get notified of future videos coming up. Thanks for watching. Robots are awesome. And I'll see you next time. I'm trying a bit of a new format with these videos. So if you like them, or if you don't, put a little note down in the description. It really helps with making new videos. Also, for an, for an upcoming video, I'm planning on trying to see if I can actually use a robot arm to have a remote dinner date. So if that sounds even remotely interesting to you, make sure to hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when that video comes out. A lot of you may look at this and immediately assume it's unsafe. And good, you should definitely be thinking of safety when you're working with robot arms. At first bash though, I would say that this is safe. This is not safety advice. Do a proper risk assessment if you're actually working with a robot arm. I didn't do any of that. Do as I say, not as I do. First, Herman can't reach your head or your neck, which are the two big risk areas um, that you need to be watching out for, and Herman can't even touch those. Also, the safety limits on the arm, because it is a collaborative arm, are set well within the safety that you would expect for a robot coming in contact with a person. Your back is also a reasonably tough area of your body. I do have the robot avoiding the spine, but again, you can't just assume that it's not gonna go there. So that's why I have the nubbin as wide as I do, just to make sure that even if it does hit there, the force should be well low enough to be safe. Also, it can't touch your butt. I think it moved. <laughs>